This video is going to walk through how we can use Mockito to carefully control our application when we're using an Entity Manager. The Entity Manager is a class that comes from the Spring Hibernate package, and it allows our application to persist and manage data with a data store. So first we're going to walk through a typical use case of where we're using the Entity Manager to make a SQL query to a database. Then we're going to look at some of the challenges that arise with the method calls that we're making. And lastly, we're going to use Mockito to carefully control the database call that is being made from our test class. And this will allow us to test for the logic of that method call using the Entity Manager. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more weekly videos, do subscribe to the channel. So if you take a look at the class that we'll be testing, it's called Repository Manager. And the repository manager uses an entity manager within it, which is instantiated through the constructor. There's just a single method that we're going to be testing, and it's called get all students. So first, a list of student objects are obtained from the get student query method. And that method down below will accept an entity manager and a string that represents the SQL. So just up above, we pass in this get all student SQL query, and that is very simply select star from student table. And then using that entity manager, we create a named query passing in that SQL query. And this allows us to query the data store that we have. And we store that within a query object. And then lastly, using that query object, we call the get results list method. And that will return a list of students back to the get all students method. We then close the entity manager. And then we just return the list of students. So if I quickly look at the student class, it's a very simple entity class. So it maps to a table called student underscore table, and it has just two fields. One is called student ID, and one is called name. The student ID maps to a field called student underscore ID, and then the name maps to student underscore name. And then I have a constructor down below, and then a two string method, which is overridden. So this is a class that we'll be testing. And what we're going to try and do is mock the behavior of the entity manager and also mock this query object down below so we can control for the purpose of our test how the database would otherwise be responding. So to begin, I'm going to mark this test class with the run with Mockito JUnit runner class. And this will ensure that the mocks that we created are instantiated while we use them. Now first I want to mock the entity manager and pass it into an instance of the repository manager. Because down below we're going to mock how the create named query method call responds when it's receiving this SQL query. And then I'm going to create an instance of our repository manager passing in this entity manager that is mocked so that we can later use it within this test. Now I'm going to define a list of students that I would like our database to return just for the purposes of this test. So I'm going to create a few students and then I'm going to add them into a list. So I have three students called Parker, Mary and Ben and they've been added into a list called student list. Now the first thing you want to do is ensure that this student list is returned from our method down below where we call all students query dot get results list. So the first item we'd like to do is to mock an instance of this query object. And then every time that we call get results list on that query object, we want to return this list of students that we've just created. So first I'm going to create that mocked query object. And then I'm going to ensure that every time we call get result list on that query object, it returns our list of students. And the next part we want to do is ensure that this query object is returned every time that we perform the SQL query on our data store. So we can see here that whenever we call the create named query and pass in this SQL query, which is get all students, that we return the mocked query object that we've just created. So I'm going to do when and then the entity manager mock and then create named query. And the exact SQL string that we want to perform will be this one right here from the repository manager. And then we want to make sure that we're returning this query mock from that method call. 
Now I'm going to create a list of student objects by calling the repository manager getAllStudents method. So if we walk through this code, the repository manager is what we've created up above with the entity manager mock being passed in. So when we call getAllStudents, first we're going to call the getStudentsQuery method and that is going to create a query object using the entity manager create named query, passing in the SQL of get all students. So we've mocked that entity manager here. So when we call create named query and pass in get all students, we will return the query mock. So that's what we've defined just slightly above. And then every time we call query mock get results list, we will return the student list. And that is this pretend list of students up above of Parker, Mary, and Ben. And that is performed right here on the get students query method just down below. And then that list will be returned to the student list in the get all students method. We close the entity manager and then we return that student list. So now that we've fully mocked how the entity manager and the query object work together, we can assert against this actual students object by comparing it to this students list. And now if I run this test, I can now expect it to pass. And that concludes this video on how we can use Mockito to mock the query object and the entity manager in a pattern that is very similar to the decorator pattern to control how our data store might behave for the purposes of our test class. I'll leave a link to the source code in the description down below so you can try this out for yourself but feel free to also extend on how we've been able to test the entity manager by looking at some of the other methods that it offers and how we can mock the query object and the entity manager together and combine them to control how they would behave in a real life database.